we reached that milestone this year. So also back in 2008-9 school year, we had a three-year-old who joined our community in preschool with Miss Katie Oldenburg. And he has grown from a little guy into a little bit of a handful into an amazing leader in our middle school community and throughout our school. Wyatt Nordhall.
the truth, please, someday you'll be faced with that. Surround yourself with people and activities that make your heart sing and smile. And know that while we hope your life is filled with joy and love, there are going to be some darker times. And you're going to be challenged. You're going to question yourself, your beliefs, maybe even your future. And in these times, I hope you'll reach out. Let those that care about you help you. Because the fact is that every person in this room, from the adults, to your teachers, to the peers sitting next to you, we've all had some dark times. We've had hard times when we weren't sure of who we were, where we were going, what we were doing, and if it even would make a difference. But the fact is that through these challenges comes great insight and learning. Remember who you are in your heart of hearts, your true self, your true nature. Remember all of those that believe in you no matter what. Remember that you, you are important. You matter. Your voice matters. Your actions make a difference. I always have to have a quote, and today is from Oprah Winfrey. And she said, the whole point of learning, uh, the whole point of being alive is to evolve into the complete person you were intended to be. And you know what? We can't wait to see what the path ahead holds for each of you. And we hope that you will come back and share your evolution into your future with us. Chase down those dreams that you have. Bring them to fruition and where, wherever your next school is, know that you will always have a place and friends here at Free Horizon Montessori. I hope that wherever your path leads you next, you will take time to keep in touch, whether it's emails or on our Facebook page or however that might be. Share those celebrations with us because we're going to be here. We're going to be cheering you on and we just can't wait to see what happens next. Thank you. 
the trip to DC last year with Cohen's band. Uh, I have made thousands of memories that will be with me forever, and I will always remember all the friends I made and experiences I've been lucky enough to be part of. I've grown up alongside many of the teachers and faculty at the school, and I would just like to say thank you for growing up with me and helping me mature to the person I am now. Uh, next year, I will be attending Conifer High School, which is a big step in my life. If I have any more close to my front of head here and there, then I think high school would be really awesome. Uh, I would also like to send a best wishes to the upcoming eighth graders. I expect you to be as cool as we are, and also as responsible. So with that, uh, say bye, and thank you.
some great friends, and some have left and some have stayed. About a month ago, I met someone who's made me happy over and over again. But my years at Epic Gym have been crazy, fun, frustrating, but most of all amazing. These past two years of my middle school life have been amazing. My teachers, Linda, Kathy, and Derek, have been there, have been there for me over and over again, and they're amazing. Linda, you have pushed me to be my best self. And you were always there for me to help me whenever I was sad. I couldn't have imagined that a language in his history would be great. And you were the best teacher to help me. Miss Kathy, you helped me get to my grade level in math. And I didn't think I'd be there at this point, but here I am. You helped me through so much as well. And math somehow turned out fun. <laughs> Mr. Derrick, you made science class one. I don't like science. Um, you were always there for me, and I enjoyed it, and I enjoyed middle school, but I am sad to leave it. I will miss you all so much, and thank you for so much. I love you all in an appropriate amount. <laughs>
amazing. And since then, I've seen a lot of different, well, a lot of changes, different teachers, different classes, different routines. And for example, we can move our school from one location to the other. And I've seen schoolyard games like Tetherball Creative and Music and <laughs> and then Cease to Exist. <laughs> Over my time here, I've learned many things. But the main thing that definitely stood out was that I've learned to help others and be a class leader. It's a very important life skill. In middle school, I've, I've had some tough times. We all have. But even when times do get tough, I can always rely on my teachers. When I look back on my years in middle school, compared to my years in more elementary and upper elementary, I think, why can't all the other grades be like middle school? And I think the answer is that it needs to have awesome teachers like ours here in middle school. Many people would describe me as fun or smart. <laughs> a good quote to live by is this one here, so I'm going to still have to eat. <laughs> That's a pretty good advice. But my other quote is a serious one, a good one if you ever want to be successful in that is love never fails. If you ever have to make a choice, choose the loving thing to do. I never really liked school until I finally came to middle school. In middle school, I started to not be the mindset. Even though it was a little hard this year, it was all thanks to my awesome teachers and some of the most severe at this time. Thank you. 